Hi champions! So in this day's episode I want to show you difference between servicing and remanufacturing. Remanufacturing or overhauling, this is what we do A1 Diesel. So what is servicing, let's say for the engine? What you do when you service, regular service for your engine? You change your oil, you change your filters, you wash it from outside, you see maybe there is some seal leakage or something. After that, service is done. That is servicing. What you do when you go for overhauling of your engine? You piston it your engine, you check your linings, you check your pistons, you check your rings, you check your bearings on the camshaft. There is many things what you are changing when you are doing overhauling on the engine. So that is why I want to bring your focus on these two things, servicing and remanufacturing or overhauling. Those things cannot be called in one same name. Let's say you are going to the dentist and you have problem with your teeth. You are not going to tell your dentist, please, can you wash it my, my teeth? Because you brush it already. They don't need to brush. Definitely he need to move some part or move completely and do a lot of work before your pain is gone. Same idea about servicing and remanufacturing we can bring to the, we, we do bring to the diesel injectors. This is C9 injector, very difficult injector I can say with so many components inside. When you do this injector, you need to change a lot of parts, nozzles, pull valve, there is many components what you need to change. Inside seals, outer seals, all need to be replaced with a new. Then this injector will work actually again like a brand new. Same with the Caterpillar C10, C13, C15. When you change the components, valve, there's many components, of course, nozzle, uh, seals, inner, outer, especially this small seal here, you need to have brand new. So, this also, that cannot be called servicing. This is overhauling, we call reman. So, the same thing is with your light duty, like uh, Toyota, Mitsubishi, all the pickups, what we see on the road, V8s, they also, they can be done correctly reman when you change the worn out parts with a brand new. Then injector become exactly to me as a brand new because injector must be able to do same mileage what it done when you buy the car. When you bring it to A1 diesel, you will bring it, the injectors back to the same standard like a brand new. Also, I believe you have question why I should do some Riemann or something. Why, why can't I go and buy complete injector? Because when you are buying complete injector, you are paying also for the body. Okay. Uh, or let's say when your tires are worn out, you are not changing the rim. If the rim is not damaged, if the rim is round and correct, you are not changing the rim. You are changing only the tire. One more very important point. Why Riemann? Why not just brand new? Because Riemann, you save your money. You save sometimes half of the money because you are not paying for the body. You are paying for the parts, what is inside. Then this is how you sometimes, at least around half of the money you save. That is all idea why you not just go for complete, but you buy Riemann. You bring your spoil one, you get your ready done. This is what we do. Sometimes if we don't have stock with ready done, then we work on very your own injector, then you leave it and evening time it is ready. So the whole point of Freeman is save your money. I hope these videos are helping you. And based on your comments, based on your questions, I'll be able to create next videos because I want to make videos not also what is interesting for me alone. I'm, I'm creating them for you guys. Then you can also have some uh, inside ideas how to do, what to do, how to prevent damage your injectors because they are, anyway, they are quite expensive and you don't want to uh, buy them and spoil them. So, yes, hope this video helped you. Thumbs up, subscribe and see you in the next episode.